Almost two years ago, we left it all behind for a chance at the sailing adventure of a lifetime. It has not been smooth sailing since then, but together we are learning and laughing our way through. Our hope is that if we laugh long enough, we can make our merry way around the world. And this... This is a Millennial Falcon. It's a splash down day. And I've come up from a nap being like, oh, I really wouldn't mind a tea with some biscuits. And it's five o'clock and everyone's like, what are you doing with tea with biscuits? It's rum time. Rum so I'm going to have my tea while they're all having some rum. You're officially a teetotaler. <laughs> Maybe you could have like a warm rum tea. A hot toddy. It's a hot toddy. The idea is for me to have biscuits more so than tea. So as long as there's biscuits involved, I'm fine. Tester of the new swim ladder, Sean's new swim ladder. See how it's gonna go. It's gonna be cold. It's magic out. Jump Shots on it. You need to jump on it as much as you can. Put all of your 45 kilos onto it. Do what? <laughs> Brad, that was actually quite cool. good. It's lovely. Spacey. Whoa, no, the nut. <laughs> Who tied that off? <laughs> <laughs> I've made a horrible mistake. Oh, it's crooked. The, knot, the knots are definitely not satisfactory. <laughs> Do you want to tell people our, uh, our day one of being back in the water? Day one being back in the water. Uh, the dinghy won't start, and the the seacock I put in is good. It's not leaking at all. The tap, the seacock works, but the I have yet to get a leak-free fitting to the hose where the hose meets the seacock, um, which was a quick job I was going to do this morning that has now been superseded by the dinghy. Because if we don't get the dinghy started and get ashore in the next few days, we might be able to renew our cruising permit. Uh, and given present circumstances, we really want to have our paperwork in order. So now I'm out in the midday sun, stripping out a cargo. <laughs> <sighs> no beer on the boat. Uh, we were all laughing before because uh, our dinghy is pretty much just uh, self-imposing a quarantine period for us. He's like, nah, you can't, get, can't go to shore. No, nope. it's quarantine period here. Can't go to shore. <laughs> For those watching at home, Sean, would you care to catch us up on what the uh, the unfolding fridge drama is? Dramas, essentially, we couldn't find the right fitting. So we kind of got three different fittings, all of which didn't work. So we had to kind of readjust. So we found a really cool place um, on the island where they essentially just converted the ends for us. We had, two, we had one end that had, a, I guess, a... What do you call it? like a, a refrigerant seal clip? Basically this. We had that. We had something that connected to that. Unfortunately, that's a dead end. That doesn't go anywhere. It's essentially just for holding a clip. So this little bad boy was on another fitting. We've had it retrofitted to this one, which will allow us to connect, which will allow us to actually regas the compressor. So the valve in here is just popped the canister. I've got a good seal. I can't hear any leaking from here. Nothing happening. I've got a good seal in here. So I just need to release this valve and we should see it start to gas. I do have a concern though. What's that? That that gauge doesn't gauge work. Had it. Yeah. We're doing a swap out onto the second set of manifold gauges. <sighs> I'll be most upset if this doesn't work. See that? Yeah. Hear that fizz? Like yep. it wasn't a 
It's like a little bit of a tire fizz. Hey, we've got a reading. So you can see here, we've got a reading of about 10 psi. Yeah, 10 to 12 psi. So low gas indicates no gas, which is a good thing. Which means if we add the refrigerant, technically that should solve the problem. So at least I've got a bit of a base point, so I know when I add it, I shouldn't be going over 70 because 70 is 70 is bad. Mm. That's a worry. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Possibly have a working fridge. Possibly we're giving it about 24 hours testing time. Um, we didn't want to overcharge it, uh, so we um, are seeing if in uh, 24 hours whether it, the the coils are still icy. If they get icy, and then uh, we shall see if we need to pop some more in or keep that. Easy. Unfortunately, to this day, our fridge mystery remains unsolved. What we now suspect is a problem is that between the first and the second top-up, we removed the single-use can from the regulator, thereby leaving no pressure in the can to push the refrigerant into the system. As of yet, that theory is still untested, as we've been on full lockdown for quite some time. What have you been working on this morning, Claire? <laughs> Getting two eyebrows back. <laughs> They're working on a dreadlock? They're working hard. I would argue this is just as hard. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, this morning and last night, um, while Kiara and Sean have been working on the fridge, I have been uh, trying to rebuild and rebed the backstay chain plate. It's, um, it's been leaking for some time. Water's just been getting down behind, behind the plate, which was a concern because Obviously, I don't want the plate to corrode through. Fortunately, the plate is in really good condition, actually. Um, the wood under the plate that was kind of like a gasket of sorts uh, was totally waterlogged, totally trashed. So I've gutted it all out and I've just rebuilt the, um, the surface uh, back to flush with uh, silica and micro balloon thickened epoxy. Um, so I've just got to sand it all back to nice flush edges, redrill the holes, and then rebed the uh, the chain plate with some 4200, and uh, it should be nice, dry, leak-free, and strong, which will give me much confidence. And, uh, work from the back of the boat. The dinghy gets pushed away from the boat and we find it really really we find it a lot harder to do that uh, than we do just staying on the boat and staying put. <laughs> Please note that we have the chain plate tied to the boat so that we do not drop it in the water <laughs> never to be seen again. <laughs> yep. After reefing the chain plate bolts down nice and tight, we attached and tightened the backstay and called it a day. Yeah. <laughs> Dropping food everywhere. Five second rule. We blow it out to 15 on the boat. <laughs> rations, <laughs> rations are tight. How many do you want, Bill? Uh, three's good. Alright, so it is uh, day three, I think, of us being back on water. We spent the last two days just uh, really just chilling out, actually enjoying um, not. Um, doing as much work, although in saying that we did have to finish off two or three jobs that we didn't manage to finish off in the yard. Um, 
But we finally thought that today we might go for a sail. Um, the sun's come out, thankfully, because uh, Adam was not so keen to get going. Uh, he, we've told you before that he doesn't really like sailing, like sailing on a cloudy day. So thankfully the sun's just come out. And I think we're ready to, uh, to hoist the anchor and, uh, and get going. Can you say hoist the anchor? Or is it just hoist the halyard? I'm not sure. Anyway, we're gonna get going. We're gonna go sailing. All right, Eddie. Are you ready to go? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Like, forgotten how. <laughs> A little bit. Anyway, the deck's all stowed, everything's strapped down and organised. We're only going down the corner, around the corner on a downwind run. So. And I want to take the propeller for a drive, the new propeller. Yeah, while we're sailing, that'll be interesting. Yeah, see if it does. I mean, we've, we know it's done that before. We have technically trialled its function and yeah. it functioned fine. Um, now I just want to make sure the uh, the vibrations are all good. It's not raining. Yeah, but it's coming. Oh, are we postponing again? No. No. We'll put the newbies through their paces as a first run. Which is why I'm sort of waiting for it to be perfect. All the first sail. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Somebody likes to snail. Sean snail up. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, really funny. What's the news? We're calling it. <laughs> We've been shut in for an hour now. It's piss and rain. And uh, the wind has died off in its wake. Uh, so. It was a short-lived expedition. Not that that's an excuse not to go sailing, but I don't want to show our guests just the worst day sailing ever for their first day out. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll pull the pin and be more productive in other ways instead of waiting around for the perfect opportunity to leave port. Uh, just like that, we changed our minds and we're going to go. <laughs> the sun's out um, and uh, I managed to rouse Adam from uh, from a little nap he was taking and I was like, hey, the wind's going, sun's back out again, shall we head off? And as soon as Adam hears sunshine, he's all for it. So we're uh, just hauling up at Anchor now. We're doing six knots, 6.5 knots from 14 just behind the beam and we're, um, we're dragging a dinghy and we've got two thirds of a Genoa and a, and a reefed main in. So we are certainly not trying that hard, so that is awesome. Yes, we do have a very clean hull as well, but I'm just thus far quite pleased. You do! This is fishing. Nothing broke yet. Whoa! 
That was a good one. How many? Whoa. And especially because whenever we always have a clean hull or a brand new um, paint in our hull, we are flying. Like we just go so fast. We, I think we've just we just uh, jived, so we're on a slightly different angle, and I think it's a little bit blowier on this angle. So our average is about seven knots, about six and a half to seven knots, which is just crazy for our boat. It's insane, yeah. If anything, we've got a fishing line out too to try and see if we can catch some dinner. If anything, we're actually going too fast for the fish. Actually, yeah. Which is pretty well unheard of for our boat. Usually we are way too slow. This is quite nice. We've uh, come just far enough to uh, Grand Anne's Anchorage and now we're probably gonna wrap it up and just go on in and have an anchor for the night. Had an awesome sail, we caught a fish, then we lost a fish. We saw some dolphins and then they lost us. Uh, oh, okay, Adam's already packing things up. Guess I'd better wrap this up. We did it, we finally moved our first sail in, no I'm not counting the other one, before we went into the yard that does not count. Our first sail since, well, since we left. Really. I think so. Tested out the new propeller, gave it a solid 10 mile drive and, yeah. and a full rev, rev range and it was flawless. Amazing, not really, really good. Not even close to a Cessna 172 under the boat, <laughs> which was the previous description. So, oh my god, uh, do you remember that? That was horrible. Yeah. Now I think about it, I'm so glad we took that off. So what I, uh, I think I explained it in the yard, but in case I didn't, I had to cut the, sh cut the dimple off the end of the shaft and build a new key and then fit it in the water um, three times. So I'm pretty confident that it is snugged up and rattle free. Um, yep. So as a, as a motoring propeller, it was very cool. And as a, as a feathering propeller, I was very, very, very impressed today. There wasn't a lot yeah. of, it was ups and downs. There wasn't a lot of wind. So I think we had average 15 knots, maybe yeah. 17. I think I saw 23 and, uh, at one stage. Yeah, and then occasionally a 10. So like a couple of points that I noted, we, we were doing four and a half knots to windward from 10, yep. which is incredible for this boat. Mm -hmm. um, 
we would do it. We, did, we had an eight and a half knot surf downwind, which is in, in 15 knots, which is pretty yeah, fun. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, generally, she just feels really slippery. And I know that she's got a fresh hull paint job, which always gives us yeah. a bonus. But I feel, I, I, I think she was, I'm happy. I think yeah, the, the, same. The, like, and the shaft isn't spinning. So yeah. all the time we were sailing around, we yeah. just turned the motor off in forward gear, the prop feathers, the shaft stopped spinning. All the drag mm. is gone, well, what, 99% gone, and uh, so far so good. Mm. So I'm pretty impressed. You know what would have made this day better? <gasps> a fish. Yeah, we got a bite, and I, I don't know. I, I feel like maybe I reeled it in a little aggressively. <gasps> oh my god, fish! fish! It didn't fish! happen. <laughs> um, I, we don't know what it was. It wasn't huge, whatever it was, but it would have been. It looked like it was a keeper. Yeah. Um, anyway, luckily it was I made. Dolphins. Dolphins! Dolphins! Yes. So it was a good uh, Luckily, yes, I made some pizza dough before we left. So the pizza dough is now very well risen. It now looks like a cake in my saucepan. And uh, and so we'll just have some pizza for dinner instead. It's not that bad. We've also <laughs> unfortunately run out of beer. That's true. Problems. <laughs> yeah.